What is up, everybody? Potbelly Pigs 4 Life here, and today we are back with our final episode of our Minecraft Swamp Village. Yeah, not much is going on. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, today I want to accomplish a few things. So, I want to give you a tour first and foremost. And then I am going to just go about a daily routine. And I'm gonna do it twice. Once in English and once in Spanish, because I need to do this for a Spanish project. Um So yeah, I, I learned Spanish and um I take Spanish in school. Um so yeah. Not only am I taking Spanish, but I'm taking honor Spanish. Um I think so. Um, Alright, so. Um, yeah. Time for the tour. Alright, so. Walk in. Big scary gateway. Um, first building you see is the church. Um, one side. Looks great. Alright. Outhouse. In case you need to go to the bathroom. Farm where we grow lots of plants. Where are you? Where the marker? We got lots of plants. Um, this is the stone cutter or mason, like work zone. Um, thing works. All right. This is the mine or the quarry um, where we get rocks and stuff. Um, this is the pasture for cows and sheep. A little barn for them to come inside. To get out of the rain. See if I can make this jump. Core! Yeah! Um. This. Chicken coop. Um. We got chickens. And glow squids dying underneath in the, uh, like, little, little lake. If you remember. Oh, sorry. Um. That's only. The mic while itching my nose. All right, here we got houses. Here we got more houses. We got a medium-sized house here. Over here, butcher shop. You get your meats, and this is his house. Right over here. So I'm using our mason is stuck here, and then this is where we got our meats. Alright, so, this, where we get fish, the fisherman, uh, fisherman raft, more fish, great, um, right here we've got the Fletcher shop, um, target blocks, and Fletcher cable, and things of that nature, um, this big blacksmith where you got everything you can think of. Thought I had to get rid of that and I never got it back. Um great. So big house. Um another little house. This tanner shop. You get leather here. This Style shop. You get banners and carpets. This is cartographer. You get maps, compass, compasses, etc., etc. This is the library where you can get knowledge. Knowledge is important, and you can change tools. I have a good pickaxe at the moment, uh, and then. Go down here. Some more houses. Last, or certainly not least, you've got my house. With my cats. And where I sit. And stuff. Yeah, alright, so, messing out the tour. Uh. And now. Um. 
I guess we just wait until. I guess we just wait until it gets dark out. Um. So yeah. So a bit about this project. So basically, the goal for this like Spanish project is to use Spanish outside of the Spanish classroom. Um. Should probably take these. I can trade with villagers. Um, yeah. So the idea is for us to use Spanish outside of the Spanish classroom. So, um, I'm pretty sure, like, some examples were, like, have a conversation with someone in Spanish. Um, I don't know many people who speak Spanish. I mean, my, um, dad's friend's wife is from the Dominican Republic, I think. Um, my mom's friend, I think, is also from the Dominican Republic. And my, and the priest in my church is from Mexico. Or as we like to call it, Mexico. Uh, the X is pronounced like H and a bunch of like other. But um, H is just not there. Um, the J is also sounds like um h so instead of saying jalapeno it you say jalapeno um let's go let's go do some stuff while i talk to you about spanish um so yeah spanish um so, I'm recording this, um, so the day I'm recording this is Christopher Columbus Day, actually. Uh, hello, villagers! And there's been huge controversy in my class about whether we should celebrate Columbus Day, or if it should really be called Indigenous People's Day, or if we should just not celebrate it at all. I think we should still celebrate it. The only reason being, I just don't like not. I just, I just like having no school on. I just like having no school on the days I have. No, you cannot go out. I just like not having school on today. Cause yeah, look, I don't mind school. I just really dislike homework. I think it's a waste of time. Um, but you know what, like, you guys can, like, have your own opinion about homework. Like, if you guys, like, if you guys like having homework, then I'm really honestly not gonna judge you. Um, I'm not that type of person. Hey, would you look at that? I just magically got a fishing rod. Alright, bed for bed. When I wake up, I'm gonna first tell you my routine in English, and then I'll do it in Spanish. So, yeah. Alright. Nighty night. Alright, so, let's get started, shall we? Um, so, in the morning, I get up, and I go to the town where I do work. Um, so we need to get to the town first. Get to the town, I first collect the eggs. Sorry, chicken. And I harvest the crops. I harvest the vegetables. I will then trade them for the villagers for money. Um, in the afternoon, I catch fish for my cats. Uh. 
Man, it is way easier to fish in Bedrock Edition than it is on Java Edition. Because, um, I have, um, Minecraft on my Nintendo Switch, and it's, like, very, it's, like, way easier to catch fish there than it is here. Because, like, usually, like, right when you cast that line, the fish bite, which is great. Now we're getting a salmon. Yep. Hey, our first cod. Long live the cod father. I'm kidding. I watch a lot of Empire's SMP. Um, in particular, the three channels I watch most are Joel, Lizzie, and Jem. Um, yeah, I was honestly on Jimmy's side. With the whole, like, flip stealing Jimmy's head. Um. Yeah, I, I, I was on their side. Of course, now there's a huge demon on the server. Um. Yeah, if I were them, I would actually, like, um. I would, Im I would, like, um. Oh, we got a bowl. We can make some, um, we can make some beetroot soup. I think. Do we have enough beetroots? Uh, yeah, we have beetroots. We can make some beetroot soup around this time. I'll also head to the library to get a book to read before bed. Then I feed my cats, I eat dinner, and then I go to bed. So, yeah, next I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the same thing, only in Spanish. Alright, three, two, one. En la mañana, yo trabajo la ci a la ciudad. Yo colecciono los huevos, cosecho los verduras. En la tarde, yo cacho los peces para mis gatos y vendo los verduras a los aldeanos. También, yo leo un libro a la bibli biblioteca. En la noche, yo alimento mis gatos y voy a la cama. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit in Spanish. I tried my best to get it accurate. Um, yeah, I did a bit of mining to pass the time. Uh, let's just say I don't like reading. So, yeah, I decided to mine in order to pass the time. But yeah, um, sorry if you could hear my family in the background. It has been a long and hectic day. And I think that all of us are a bit tired. I'm thinking that, you know what, maybe uh, we have time before the video ends. Let's do a bit of mining. Um, see if we can find some iron or diamonds. Also, I'm going to want to pop up cords. Right, I can hear bats, so hopefully that should mean that there's a cave nearby. And I was right. Gold already? Gold before iron? Wow.
Alright. This is what we came here for. Iron. Oh, more iron. Great. Uh, yeah, I think, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, like, explore the cave a little bit. On second thought, um... Should I risk it? Yeah, I'll risk it. I really love it if I could get some diamonds here. No, I, I don't want to fish in the lava. Alright guys, we're back and we didn't find any diamonds. But that's alright, because we're going to smelt the iron that we got. Um, yeah, so I think... I think that's it for this episode and this playthrough. Um, I had fun with this playthrough, but I know that I'm going to have even more fun in the next playthrough. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see some more Minecraft Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution content. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.